programme this week. Snowboarding in a day, put to the test. Improve your fitness and technique with the ski club and Warren Smith this autumn. And Snow Camp needs your help. Hello and welcome to the September Ski Club Snowcast. Now if you, like us, can't wait for winter to get here, then this snowcast is packed full of ideas to get you ready for the season. Earlier this summer, Ski Club TV went on location with a mission to try something new. Now I've been skiing since I was 14 and did a whole season in France without once strapping on a snowboard. Here in Tamworth at the Snow Dome, they run a course designed to teach you how to snowboard in just one day. So I'm here to try it out for myself and see if it's really possible. After a 9am introduction to the course with the instructors, it was straight on to getting kitted up and heading onto the snow. Despite the intense time frame of the course, we were given careful guidance every step of the way, with strong emphasis on starting out on the right foot and building your technique from scratch. Andy Tilly was one of the two instructors who guided our group of eight to go from beginner to recreational standard. Uh, we're looking for a student to be able to control their speed of their descent uh, and also the direction, can they move left and right, going faster or slower if needs be and also can they do some turns, can they do little S shapes going down the hill as well and once you can do that on your own, you're a recreational standard standard. To go from nowhere to that standard in one day is a big journey and when people reach that standard and they're smiling and they're laughing and they're doing stuff that they thought when they arrived at 9 o'clock in the morning they'd never ever, I'd never be able to do that that is such a buzz for an instructor, just as much as a student, it's a buzz for an instructor as well. Well, that's the morning session over. It's been pretty full on and I have fallen over a fair few times. But I am getting the hang of it. Time now for a well-earned spot of lunch. The second half of the day takes on a free session approach, but with the instructors close at hand to ensure you keep improving your technique. So at the end of the day, to go from the top to the bottom safely on my own, unassisted. I think it's just incredible how you can learn that much in one day. Oh, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, got to be the best thing is when you first get here you think there's no way I can do that but by the end of it, well halfway through the day, you're, you're doing it all from the top to the bottom. Yeah, it's just excellent. What a day it's been. I arrived here at nine o'clock in the morning having never snowboarded before. It's now five o'clock in the evening and although I'm pretty worn out, I feel confident enough to get on a lift and take on some real snow in the mountains. And it's not just snowboarding on offer here, you can apply the same programme to skiing too. So there's no excuse not to come down and give it a go. Brilliant, a new skill in just one day. A massive thank you to everyone at Tamworth and if you'd like to find out more about courses, visit the Snow Dome's website and you can watch an extended version on Ski Club TV soon. Now if you'd like to stick to what you know but want to work on your technique or fitness in time for the new season, this autumn the Ski Club is teaming up with UK instructor Warren Smith. The Warren Smith Academy have years of experience in professional ski coaching, honing techniques using traditional methods as well as the latest in biomechanics. Warren will be at the Ski Club member meetup events at the Chill Factory in Manchester on the 4th of October, followed by the Hemel Snow Centre on the 11th. As well as talks, members can take advantage of some essential advice and tips to improve their technique. Another date for your diaries is the 12th of November when we're again teaming up with Warren for a fitness day taking place in London's Hyde Park. For more information or to book tickets for any of these events, visit the online calendar. Now, if you want a different type of snow sports challenge, you can do so whilst raising money for a really good cause. The Everest Challenge takes place in January to raise funds for youth charity Snow Camp. Snow Camp takes young people from deprived inner city areas and introduces them to skiing and snowboarding, teaching them valuable life skills along the way and steering them towards a career in the snow sports industry. To support the cause, participants will aim to ski or snowboard 150 kilometres in 40 hours, taking in 16 resorts in the Port de Soleil, including a night ski session and a mountain hike. Last year saw £30,000 raised and with more spaces available, this year promises to be even bigger. To find out about conditions of entry or to book your place, visit the Snow Camp website. It all gets underway on the 26th of January. Now, this week has seen some unusually early snowfall in the Northern Hemisphere. To find out more about that and how it's looking around the rest of the world, here's the latest snowy roundup. The fresh snow earlier this week in Europe has significantly boosted the snow on glaciers, especially in Austria and Italy. 
Hintertux's base depth more than doubled as Dubai managed to reopen following 45 centimetres of fresh snow. Spring is still in full swing in Australia. Good skiing can be found at most resorts as they've made lots of artificial snow earlier in the season. Perish and Threadbow have the deepest snow bases. There's still some brilliant skiing down in New Zealand too. Mount Dobson and Mount Lyford are now closed for the season, but all other resorts remain open with plenty of snow. Turoa's base depth is the deepest it's been all season. Classic spring conditions continue in Chile and Argentina. The best of the conditions can be found in Chile thanks to their increased altitude. Fantastic to see some snow over Europe. Let's hope it's a marker for the rest of the season. Finally this week, the first edition of this season's Ski and Board magazine is out now. If you haven't got yours yet, here's a sneak peek inside. Fashion is high on the agenda as once again the Ski Club Library was transformed into a fashion shoot, snapping the latest trends and styles for the first issue. And the best ski tests in the business are back, as our team put this season's latest models through their paces. There's loads more in the magazine. If you're a Ski Club member, you should have received your copy, otherwise you can pick one up in all good news agents. Now that's all we've got time for in this final summer snowcast. We'll be back in weekly mode in October, starting with the Ski and Snowboard Show in its new location at London's Earl's Court. We hope to see you there, but until then, bye! bye.